Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to program this miniature claw machine. This is one that came from eBay. It has the bunnies on it. Unsure of an actual name brand or brand name for this. But if you look, you can see three different key slots. One key controls each of them. This one's for the prize chamber. This one is for the coin mechanism. And this one is for the coin holder where the coins go. So, to start programming, we will open the coin mechanism with the key. Put it to the side. Hopefully it won't fall. Alright. If you look inside, you will find a switch that you turn on. That powers on the machine, the claw tests itself, gets ready to go, everything lights up. Music starts. Now, the program, you'll see there's a red circular button in there. Hold that button down, look at the screen, a menu pops up. So, you have some settings on the menu. Coin per play, you can choose how many coins it takes to play a game. You can go way up there, or you can just go one, but I have it set for free play, so it doesn't matter. Game time, this tells you how long you have to grab a prize before the claw goes back to the start position. I have it on a pretty high time. It can go low. You can go all the way down to, well, let's see. You can go all the way up to, wow. Wow. I haven't even seen this yet. Well, we won't need that much time, will we? But I would imagine. Okay, 10 seconds to third, 10 seconds to 60 seconds. I like it set to 25 just because sometimes I like to take my time. Music, this one doesn't have changeable music, but it does have an on off switch. Uh, let's turn the music on. We like the music. Claw catch, air or bottom I prefer air prize suit now the prize suit is this area here there's a sensor in there that can make noise when a prize is won bear in there front or back not entirely sure what the front and back means tilt on off it was on when I got it I'm keeping it on Volume, it can go way up or way down. I have it right about a lower volume, kind of the middle. Don't want it too loud because it's basically just a loop of a short audio. Coins and bonus. Number of coins, number of bonus plays. We're just going to go down to one. Or off. Alright, so it's set for free play, so we don't have to worry about that. Return, claw voltage. Now, this is where it gets interesting. High voltage, that is what controls the claw when it is in the process of going down to grab something. So, when it starts to grab something, you want it pretty high. I have it set at the highest possible setting. It goes from 5 to 24 volts. Low voltage. That controls the claw once it has a prize. So if it's low, as in zero, it will not hang on to the prize. The claw will just release it. Release it. So we have it at the highest setting because I like to win. Voltage height. Voltage height is set for five seconds. The voltage height keeps the claw closed. Low voltage method, just one setting for that. High voltage start, now the high voltage start is one, it's what happens when the claw strength goes from strong to weak. So if you have it set for a higher setting, like five instead of one, uh, the strength of the claw will last for longer instead of dropping the toy. 
So we have that. We can return. Motor speed. Forward and backward. That's, of course, this way and that way. Uh, that's the speed at which the claw moves. It can go from 5 to 1. I have it on fast. It doesn't really affect uh, grabbing the toys since the claw strength is so high. Left to right, same thing. 1 to 5. Return. Prize setup. You have different modes. Random. Vending. Now this is for if you are using the machine in a commercial setting for money making purposes. I have it fixed because I'm just playing for fun at home. Win rate. This actually controls how many times uh, in a row you can win something. Uh, and say if you have a win rate of 5. Every 5 turns that somebody puts a coin in, they have a chance of winning. But other than that, they will almost certainly not win. And it can go up to a very high number. But we have it always fixed at 1 because we like to win. Prize sensor. The prize sensor, of course, is down here again. And there's a little laser in there that can tell when you've caught a prize. And when it can sense that, a little yay sound goes on. So we have that. Play till win. I have it on, but you can put, turn it off, obviously, if you want to charge money for it. And then the machine test just makes sure that everything's working. Accounts, you can create accounts for if you want to play it for monetary purposes. Account reset, reset the accounts. Free play, yes. No, yes. Factory reset, only press that if you're having a whole lot of difficulty and you don't know how to fix the problem. After you do that, you will have to reset manually all of the settings that I just showed you. So that's your last resort. So if you return, machine tests itself, goes back to start, music comes back on, and you're ready to play. So then you would put the coin mechanism back into place, lock it. And now we can test it out. So we move the joystick. Let's try to get this light blue bear. Press the button. And since the cost rank is so high, we're almost certain to win it. Now, I didn't quite get it, but if we move the call, it did. So there you go. You can keep playing as long as you want because it's on free play mode. Like I said, the claw strength is very high, so otherwise ungrabbable things will now be grabbable, which I think is fun. So that's how, basically, to set up your machine once you have it, and then you can have fun playing in your own home. Thanks for watching. Bye.